It's about quality safety and result. Operated under the International Cellular Medical Society, ICMS, AABB, and US FDA's Good Tissue Practice, CGTP guidelines. Board certified physician specialists. Maximizing health potentials. It's all about quality of life. Andrew's treatment. One of the things I'd like to focus our attention on for the next segment, mm -hmm. take four, is tell me what you saw as far as the, and we, we can break this up in any segment mm -hmm. you like, maybe we talk about the procedures and what have you and your comfort zone with that, it's something along those lines might be the next piece of okay. conversation. And, and, you, know, you know where we're going right. with questions, so. Um, we've done a great deal of research um, on stem cell therapy, mm -hmm. um, and particularly, not necessarily, I, it has done a great deal with um, the, the children who are at, at the point in their autism where they would be considered the lower functioning, children who are, are working on potty training and, and various things like that. Um, they've seen great jumps after mm -hmm. stem cell therapy. Um, where we did most of our research was the stem cell therapy used for stroke patients um, because the neurologists essentially believe that in some respects is what we're looking at for the aphasia um, apraxia uh, issue with the antrip. Um, and uh, there are a lot of different clinics. They do a lot of different protocols. Um, many for autism will only use donor cells because dealing with autistic children is frankly difficult. Um, and uh, we were not comfortable with donor cells. Um, you know, despite the, the precautions taken, um, it's, it's still like using donor blood. Um, and, and things can slip through the cracks, so we were not comfortable with that. Um, at the time we uh, first spoke to you, um, we were very set on adipose cells uh, from fat and IV. Uh, because those seem the less invasive, the less painful, what have you. Um, and after you know discussing it with you and realizing, because what they don't tell you about adipose cells, of course, is that yes, while they just take a little bit of fat tissue, um, they also then you also have to um, there is a binding um, to keep infection from happening prophylactic um, antibiotics, which I'm not comfortable with, and, and various other aspects. Now, anyone who's ever tried to keep a bandage on a child, you know, on the spectrum, knows it's not an easy process. Um, and then um, looking at your research and then actually going further and looking at, at additional research from, from some of the other uh, universities doing stem cell uh, therapies, um, we found that um, while there are more stem cells technically in the fat tissue. Um, when you look at the bone marrow, um, the ease of getting uh, bone marrow, how quickly it replenishes in children, um, the fact that you don't, oh, you don't necessarily have to culture bone marrow stem cells. Um, the, as far as recovery time and invasiveness, that would have been the easier way to go. Um, and we also talked about putting them directly into the spinal fluid um, to basically cut a shortcut through the blood-brain barrier. Um, and that is the procedure for, that is used most often with stroke patients. Um, and, and, and I think the research there is across the board. So you got an opportunity to see the whole story I from did. start to finish in the OR, et cetera. Yes. And if you were to describe to another parent what, how did that feel and what did you say? Um, the most stressful part of the entire experience was Andrew being masked down. Mm -hmm. um, because no little kid likes a mask over his face. Um, that was the most stressful part. Um, I was tucked in the corner, um, I got to watch the entire procedure, um, and it was not, um, it was not invasive. Uh, it was quick. Um, I think the bone marrow was done in under five minutes, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and 
everything was done in duplicate. Uh, you know, both legs were prepped just in case. Everything was done just in case. Um, and uh, it was a far easier process than I had expected it to be. Um, it didn't, um, everything was explained in, well in advance. Um, there were no surprises. Um, and it was, it, it just struck me as significantly less invasive um, than had we even gone with the adipose growth. Um, and um, the pediatric um, anesthesiologist was wonderful. Um, and the hospital was very accustomed to dealing with special needs children, so it wasn't a stretch for them at all. Um, but as far as my you know, mother panic level. It was, uh, it was a significant, I had, I had expected it to be much worse. Um, and, and it was sort of a non-event when we got Wonderful. to it. Um, so that was, that was very comforting. Uh, we like non-events. Um, very rarely in Andrew's recovery has something been a non-event, but this, this was not, um, not. For more information, please visit www.worldstemcells.com or call us at 800-234-1693.